Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray from Fandroid and this here is the OnePlus 6. You probably already know by now that this device does not carry an official IP dust and water certification rating, which means it's probably not gonna survive if you drop it into a puddle, a pool, or most likely just the toilet. Now, there are a couple of reasons for this, but mainly it's because OnePlus did not wanna spend the extra time, effort, or money in order to give it the official certification rating. If you do a quick search on YouTube, you can probably find at least a dozen water-resistant tests with the OnePlus 6. But the phone we have here does have a little bit of an advantage over those devices. It's been treated with a special nano coating treatment from Liquipel, which guarantees that the circuitry of the device won't actually come into contact when the phone is fully submerged into water. So let's dump this phone into a little bit of water to see how it survives. For this test, we're gonna be submerging the OnePlus 6 in roughly six inches of water to see how the phone fares after being submerged for up to 30 minutes. Now, we are expecting the device to work immediately after it's been removed from the water, but we're gonna be coming back after 24 hours to see how it fares after the circuitry on the inside of the phone has dried, since that's typically when the damage actually occurs. In order to get this special nano coating applied to your device, you do have to send it in to Liquipel for them to apply. The device is then placed into a small vacuum chamber, which removes all of the air and then introduces the special Liquipel nano coating, which seeps into all of the openings on the device and coats the circuitry, creating the water safe barrier. Liquipel is actually so confident that their product will work that they offer a you break it, we fix it guarantee so that you never have to worry about dropping your phone into water again. Okay, so it's officially been 72 hours now since I took the OnePlus 6 and dunked it into a bucket of water to see if it could survive 30 minutes while submerged, thanks to the nano coating technology that was applied by Liquipel. And after the first 24 hours, that was the time period that I was gonna be looking at it later, but the phone was working just fine, so I decided to wait a couple extra days. And after 72 hours, the device itself is working just fine. Now I've done a handful of tests on the phone to make sure that everything is working as it should. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack still works perfectly fine for listening to music. The USB-C port at the bottom charges the phone just fine as well, as does the speaker at the bottom, that works fine, and the front-facing speaker for audio calls. The bottom speaker was actually waterlogged right after the test, so uh, I turned on some music to make sure that I got all of the water out of the chamber. It did sound muffled for the first 10 to 15 minutes, but once all of the water was completely out, it sounded a lot better and actually sounds just as good as it did before it was submerged into water. It also helps sometimes to get the water out of the ports at the bottom if you shake it quite a bit. That's when the water emerges uh, due to the G-forces with that. Uh, and then with the cameras, uh, if you look here, you can see that there is no condensation or moisture buildup for the front facing camera as for the rear facing camera as well. Nothing there to report no issues or anything like that. And also the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone works just as fine as well. So there you have it. The Liquipel nano coating technology seems to work just fine with the OnePlus 6 and should do the same for any other device that you have that doesn't have an official IP water or dust resistant rating. Now the service costs $60 when you send it in to have the nano coating applied to the phone. That does include the return shipping and also a screen protector that they give you and also a case if you're interested in that as well. But I wanna hear what your thoughts are on Liquipel's nano coating technology and if you've used it in the past, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any questions for me as well, anything that I might not have covered in this video, drop them in the comments and I'll answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fandroid channel and I hope to catch you on the next one.